Sadie. No, not that. That's a box. Sadie is inside the box. Wait, do you hear? Sadie says she's not inside the box at all. I'm on an enormous boat, she says, crossing a wide, wide sea. Here is Sadie now. She's looking for land, only she's not looking too hard. Sadie sails all the way around her room and back again, and it still isn't even time for breakfast. Sadie has learned to be quiet in the mornings because old people need a lot of sleep. When it is time to start the day, Sadie tidies her room. And then she chooses a dress. Don't tell the others, she whispers, but you are my favorite. Sadie's perfect day is spent with friends. Some of them live on her street, and some live in the pages of her books. Sadie has been a girl who lived under the sea. She has been a boy raised by wolves. Sadie has had adventures in Wonderland. And she has played the hero in the world of fairy tales. This is Sadie. You probably think it's a tree, don't you? It is. But way, way up at the top is Sadie, chit-chatting with the birds. Sadie has wings, of course. They are just very, very hard to see. Still, she knows they are there. Maybe you have them too. Have you checked? Sadie's wings can take her anywhere she wants to go, and they always bring her home again. The days are never long enough for Sadie. So many things to make and do and be. Sadie likes to make boats of boxes and castles out of cushions, but more than anything, she likes stories because you can make them from nothing at all. This is Sadie. And this is her story. I hope you enjoyed listening to This is Sadie today. She inspires me to be more creative and think outside the box. I hope she inspires you too. Sending you sunshine.